What are you reading? Uh, P.G. Woodhouse. It's actually his collection of short stories. Not you, Mekla. She wasn't expected. What? This book is a security risk, don't you know? This book, yeah. this funny story of a man and his butler is a security risk. Yeah. Apparently, they refused this book at the Loja Central Prison to Gautam Navlakha. Who is Gautam Navlakha? The Elgar Parishad accused. Why did they refuse the book to him? I mean, clearly, Dal mein kuch kala hai. Have you seen the name of the book? The world of Jeeves and Wooster. Jeeves, Jeeves, Andolan Jeeves. This is not Jeeves, it is Jeeves. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, dhokla, fafra. Have you seen the stuff he writes? I mean, it's fodder for Andolan Jeeves. How? Uh, sample this. In Joy in the Morning, he writes, Have you ever met a cabinet minister? I know a dozen and not a single one would be overpaid at 30 shillings a week. I mean, he thinks our ministers who work hard day and night are overpaid. But he is not even talking about India. Aha, he might as well have been. It is this kind of seditious anti-government sentiment that needs to be curbed in a democracy as strong as ours. What are you even talking about? And then the subject of his books. He talks about socialists and calls them comrades. Uh, in his short story, Comrade Bingo, he talks about this guy who joins a communist group to win over the girl he loves. I mean, that is just dangerous influence for the well-meaning right-wing youth of our country. And guess the name of the collection this short story is a part of? The inimitable Jeeves. Again, it's not Jeeves, it's actually Jeeves. And then there is Smith, the journalist, who is in so many Woodhouse stories. Why tell me does Smith keep using the C word and so liberally, if I may? I mean, a journalist with a spine who believes in press freedom. That's seditious. Right? It's not like it's... And then, there's Woodhouse insulting hmm? our Hindu Rashtra. How can we allow that? How? What? Stop acting so unaware. Unaware about what? You read Woodhouse. You should know. No, what? P.G. Woodhouse writes in his book, Heavy Weather, and I quote, Honorable Galahad saw a peculiar expression on his nephew's face. Like that of a young Hindu fakir who, having settled on his first bed of spikes, is beginning to wish that he had chosen one of the easier religions. Note that P.G. Woodhouse is saying young Hindu fakir and bed of spikes. That is clearly a mockery of our faith. Woodhouse is clearly trying to make Hinduism look like an unpleasant religion. And you know, when anything is anti-Hindu, it's anti-national. Oh my God, you're absolutely right! Young Hindu fakir? Can you believe it? This book, it is clearly a security risk. 